I would think the general idea is if you asked any president, would you want to bring manufacturing just in a vacuum, just with all, all the other stuff set to the side that comes with it? What do you want manufacturing back in the, in the United States, right? Because the, the U.S. outsourced all their manufacturing because of cheap labor, right? Um, when Biden was in office, he enacted the CHIPS Act, C-H-I-P-S, CHIPS Act. Um, and that basically subsidized or basically reduced the cost for chip makers to build a manufacturing plant, relocate or not relocate, but maybe an extension. So they can stay located wherever, wherever their home base is, but they want those other companies to open up manufacturing plants in the United States, right? And the CHIPS Act um, enabled a number of chip makers, uh, enticed them to open up manufacturing plants here in the United States. Samsung, for one, took um, took the CHIPS Act um, and ran with it. They're opening up a brand new manufacturing plant just north of or just east of Austin, southeast of Austin, and not going well. We're not going to get into Samsung's failures at chip making, uh, but it does. The story does specifically include one of their competitors, TSMC. TSMC also, Taiwanese Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, um, is opening up a plant in Arizona. Now, in that Chips Act, it basically um, let them not pay taxes. I think they saved something like twenty-two billion dollars. Uh, built TSMC specifically just in this one Arizona plant outside of Phoenix. Um, and they, they don't have to pay taxes on uh, land uh, tax, you know, a bunch of stuff they subsidize. They wipe off the books to entice them to come here. Because when you build something so big, so massive, you're going to hire a bunch of employees. It's expensive. Just, to, just the building alone is expensive. The upkeep of the building is expensive. The electricity, the water, um, paying employees, all that stuff. The government, Biden, put that in the CHIPS Act um, to cut down the costs to make it more affordable and enticing for these uh, companies to build manufacturing plants here in the United States. Now, the TSMC plant in Arizona is almost ready to start manufacturing CPUs. Um it is set for it is set for um, opening in December, which is next month. So time is ticking. Now the presidential election sort of falls right <laughs> right around the when they're opening this, and we're seeing not such good news. So there's a new article. Let me pull this up on WCCF Tech, right? And it basically states TSMC forbidden to manufacture two nanometer chips outside of Taiwan, raising questions on the future of the TSMC manufacturing plant in the United States. So what does this mean? This means that when President Trump, let, let, let's go back in, in the past. So Trump previously stated uh, throwing shade, uh, a not so good comment in regards to TSMC making a statement saying that they were stealing our technology. What technology? I have no idea. Their TSMC is the one that has the technology, not us. <laughs> They're the absolute best chip maker in the world. They manufacture CPUs for all the major players um, uh, Samsung, Apple, uh, Google. Uh, Nvidia, they make they are the world's best CPU manufacturer. Um, so that did not sit well with TSMC uh, CEO, board members, what have you, shareholders. Kind of threw shade at them, right? And said, "We want to bring it. We want our technology back." And everybody's like, "Huh? Like what technology? They're the ones that got the technology." Anyways, in the world of tech, in the world of CPUs. Two nanometer. Why this makes why this makes news is because as time goes on, that's the size, the foundation, 
uh, uh, nanometer is obviously a distance. It's a measurement. Um, and as time goes on, so like the old snap, so like the um, Samsung Galaxy S10, right? What is that? Five, six years old. That had like a seven or eight nanometer CPU, meaning how big the CPU is. As time goes on, as time progresses, the nanometer, the size of these CPUs gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So currently, and obviously you can't go to zero nanometers or there would be no, <laughs> there would be no CPU. So two nan, and I think one nan, I think one nanometer is possible, but I don't think it's, I think two nanometers is gonna be the sweet spot for power and efficiency. Cause once you get down to zero, again, it's just, it's just, not feasible right once you get down below two or especially below one you won't have a cpu anyways this is the sweet spot two nanometer that's where the latest technology the latest um r d this is where the future is going to be two nanometers so you're going to see a two nanometer um i think currently we're at three nanometers so i think the snap Snapdragon 8 Gen, excuse me, the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Is it, um, anyways, it's either three or two. I think it's three nanometers. The future is two nanometers, and it's going to be that way for for the time being, for the foreseeable future, probably the next few years. May get down to 1.5, but whatever. Two nanometers, where we're going to be in the next few years. That's the sweet spot. That's the bread and butter. That's the latest cutting edge technology chip. TSMC is coming out and saying, we're not going to send you, we're not going to manufacture the best CPU in the United States plant. And everybody's like, huh? What? Uh, well, if you're not going to, if you're not going to manufacture your latest and greatest, your very best technology, your very best CPU tech at our Arizona plant, ooh, what the hell are you going to be manufacturing there? Now, yes, they do manufacture other things than just mobile chipsets for your flagship devices. They manufacture GPUs and chips that are that will not be sold in phones, chips that are meant for AI uh, computers, chips that are meant for data centers. They do a lot of manufacturing for that. Um, that's what I'm guessing they're gonna be manufacturing there because in this article, it says Taiwan, the government of Taiwan, who actually is a owner, which I think it's majority owner in TSMC or, or minority owner in TSMC, the actual country, they have forbidden TSMC because the Trump statements pissed them off to manufacture the latest and greatest two nanometer chips in foreign lands. As the government believes that the nation needs to protect its exclusive technologies. So TSMC won't be allowed to produce cutting edge nodes outside of Taiwan, hinting towards a fallout in the United States and Taiwan relations when it comes to manufacturing and technology and CPUs. Um, TSMC in Taiwan specifically were not happy with the progress TSMC is making in the United States, especially after remarks by Donald Trump who claimed Taiwan is stealing, quote unquote, stealing US semiconductor technology. Now, the two nations who held key relations during the Biden administration are apparently experiencing a fallout, right? Uh, as seen in the remarks by Taiwan's Minister of Economic Affairs, he claims that TSMC's two nanometer core technology will remain in Taiwan despite the ambitions of the foundry to take it abroad. So, since Taiwan has has related regulations to protect its own technologies. TSMC cannot produce two nanometer chips overseas currently, although TSMC plans to make two nanometer chips uh, uh, abroad in the future, its core technology will stay in Taiwan. Now, TSMC has benefited tremendously under Biden. We uh, discussed that at the beginning. They got them the deal in Arizona. This is actually the what it looks like. This is a, and this is going to, they have, if, if you have not seen it, maybe we'll look at another article. Um, if you have not seen the plans for the Arizona plant, it's it's amazing. Uh, so this news is a big hit. It's big news. It's like a punch to the gut because 
this, the state of Arizona, I think it's not in the Phoenix city limits, right outside suburb. They're building a whole um, area just for the employees, just for the people that work there. It's this huge area with neighborhoods, homes, apartments, um, uh, retail shops, uh, restaurants. Um, it's this huge area and it's literally surrounds the manufacturing plant of TSMC because it's going to employ like 20,000 people. I mean, this is a huge, huge deal. It cost billions of dollars to manufacture. I mean, excuse me. Yeah. To, to build, um, TSMC is said to initially manufacture four nanometer and five nanometer processes in the United States facility with plans to expand to two nanometers by the end of the decade. By then, that'll be old. This stuff moves super fast as technology progresses very, very fast. Um, we still got five more years. Two nanometer is going to be toast. They're going to be working on 1.9 nanometer. They're going to be working on 1.8, 1.7, possibly 1.5. So the way we look at four nanometer and five nanometer now to be kind of old tech, meaning like three to four years old, that's how we're going to look at two nanometer at the end of the decade. In 2029, 2030, we're going to be like, damn, two nanometer. Arizona's finally getting two nanometer. And then at that time, that won't be TSMC's latest and greatest. TSMC will be on, like, as I mentioned, 1.7, 1.6, 1 1.5 nanometer. So make no mistake about it. TSMC has no plans of manufacturing their latest and greatest CPU at this manufacturing plant. And that goes for right now and that goes for the future. Um, there's been so many stories come out where uh huawei who's been banned by the us they're poaching meaning they're trying to go out and recruit tsmc um engineers people that work in not just not not on the manufacturing plant not the people that that work uh um you know putting these together i'm talking about people that work up in the offices the uh laboratories the testing sites uh the engineers Huawei has been trying to steal not only technology, not only schematics, not only plans, um, a research and development, um, but they're also trying to um, recruit employees of TSMC. In fact, they're offering up to three times their salary, three times their salary to come to Huawei because Huawei is a China based CPU manufacturer. They got kicked out by the US. But they're trying to get their CPU manufacturing game up and they're just not good enough, right? Same thing with Samsung. Samsung's lost billions of dollars um, because they can't get their CPU manufacturing under control, right? So hey, this is a huge deal. Um, uh, let's see here. With Donald Trump in the office, U.S. might change its stance towards aiding foreign entities and setting up facilities in the nation given that Trump has previously stated that countries like Taiwan should pay the U.S. to facilitate domestic production. Trump might not make surprising decisions, but the nation will be cautious about the incentives provided by the CHIPS Act, which might drive off interest depending on the new administration um, decisions. In the long term, TSMC U.S. relations look healthy. Uh, and productive given that both parties are determined to expand semiconductor production however taiwan must maintain global leadership by ensuring that its core technologies core future technologies research and development are protected which is why it is necessary for tsmc to prefer uh, to preserve its superior nodes and or cpus so as i mentioned they've been experiencing a lot of people trying to steal their tech that's why they are super duper careful of their technologies and they have every right to be so i don't necessarily blame them now before we get out of here one interesting tip or one interesting thing to think about the brand new snapdragon 8 elite the brand new cpu a flagship cpu that you're going to see in the majority of these android flagship phones s25 series one plus 13 um that is said to be 20 percent more expensive 
And TSMC is going to build it, manufacture it, not here, but in, in Taiwan. It's said to be 20% more expensive. So I wonder how Taiwan, excuse me, how TSMC is going to deal with the higher labor costs because these people that are employed by TSMC here in America, they're going to expect a decent, a decent wage, right? A decent paycheck, uh, 20, 25 bucks an hour, at least something like that. Um, now the people in Taiwan that are building these CPUs probably making two to three bucks an hour, right? Honestly, probably better than China, but not not anywhere close to what U.S. wages. Is TSMC going to add that cost onto those chips that, that they manufacture here in the United States? Meaning, are they going to, and that, that may be a considerable increase wholesale. So they produce these chips and whoever, these four to five nanometer chips that they're going to produce in Arizona, those probably going to go to data centers, probably going to go for AI um uh, processing are they going to add on a 30 percent increase for every chip wholesale that comes out of the arizona plant um because that may raise prices for like companies like open ai who has chat gpt they need new data centers they need need new processors well they're probably going to buy a whole bunch from somebody and why would you buy uh less superior uh, CPUs. If you want to have the best product, you're going to need um, the best supplier, which is TSMC. So I wonder if they're going to pass on the wage, the increase in price of manufacturing to whoever's buying it. And it, it would just be for those four to five nanometers. Now, it's actually good they're not producing the two nanometers here because it would drastically increase the price of our phones. Because if it's 20% more to manufacture already, and that's in Taiwan. Now, what if you manufacture it here in the United States? What are you going to add on another 20, 30%? It's going to be 50% more expensive, which means your phone, instead of being a flagship, let's just say the regular flagship, an S25 Plus is at a thousand bucks right off the bat. If that two nanometer chip was produced in Arizona, uh, that might make your S25 Plus uh, $1,100 instead of a thousand dollars so um that's up to the cell phone manufacturer like samsung um to um you know kind of play with the pricing um uh, but they they can't go too much higher i mean this it's already sky high anyway so look all this all this factors in uh when making technology and every now and then we'll dive into the business side of tech and um, this was one of those days. So I'm going to leave a, a link for this story down below. Very interesting and uh, something we'll definitely keep our eye on. And we will explore maybe tomorrow I'll bring up a map. I'll, I'll look for a map of the TSMC facility in Arizona and that in the uh, just the enormous amount of construction going around this plant. We'll dive into that tomorrow. So stay tuned tomorrow. Uh, make sure you subscribe to eSIM Studios so you get notified of all new content and when we go live. And I appreciate it. Please be safe. I'm also putting out real quick. I'm also putting out a video. I'm doing a new series, uh, a series kind of like this live stream, but I'm not going to do it every day like this live stream, maybe once a week. Best Amazon lightning deals on tech. So I'll go through Amazon. I'll find all of the uh, sales in the tech space. Uh, could be a phone, could be wireless, uh, um, uh, wireless mic, could be external storage, um, whatever. It could be a mini PC. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna find the best deals on Amazon, and we're gonna go through them. And I'll put links in the description uh, for everything, so you can take advantage of those good deals. So I'm, I'm in the, in the middle of editing a video right now should be out later tonight or tomorrow morning. So be on the lookout for that. And, uh, I do appreciate it. So please be safe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.